Hello there. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you today the plugin Social Encore. So what does it do? In a nutshell, it allows you to republish any of your old posts on your blog to your social networks. Or if you have a blog that's coming up, a blog post that's coming up, and you want to schedule ahead your social posting, you can do that too all inside of WordPress. So let's see how it looks. The first thing you do when you have the plugin installed, and you will install the plugin any other way through plugins at new. And after you do that, you will see two items here uh, in your menu. One is social encore schedules and one is the social encore settings. If you get an, a newer version, these two might be might all come under one menu. Just wanted you to be aware of that. All right, so let's go take a look at the social encore settings. At this time of recording, we have three social networks that you can automatically schedule your post to. That's Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And you will need to go to these social networks and uh, get your own app ID and API keys and so on and forth. But don't worry, I know it sounds scary, but it's not because we have the user guides all laid out for you in step-by-step -step format, complete with screenshots so that you can follow along. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and enter all these IPs and, and keys and secret tokens and access, and I'll be right back. All right, so I have entered all the app IDs and keys that I needed here. Uh, but before I go ahead and submit, I wanted to just point out a couple of things here. As far as Facebook goes, I need to select the profile or the page slug that is of my Facebook page. So for example, this Facebook page has a name called TRV Homebooks, and that's what I'll put in here for Facebook. And as far as Twitter is concerned, uh, I would need to put in the Twitter handle that I want to post to. And LinkedIn doesn't have any of that. So let's go ahead and submit. Now, after you submit, you would notice two things here for Facebook and LinkedIn. You would need to further authenticate the blog in order to start posting. So let's click on login with Facebook. Now, because I have done the authentication process before, it will automatically authenticate me. But what you would do normally is the pop-up will ask you to go ahead and log into Facebook and authorize this plugin to post to your page. And the same thing with LinkedIn. And again, you probably won't see the pop-up asking for authentication because I've already done it before and it saves all that information for you. We are ready to start our schedules for auto posting to the social networks. To start scheduling our social network posting, click on Encore Schedules, Add New, and then we'll give a title, mostly for your own use and your own organizational purposes. And uh, we can go ahead and enable this right now so that we don't forget. Now, what I want to do with this schedule is to tell the plugin to grab random posts from the last month and automatically repost it to our social network. So we choose random source. In this setting, we shall select if we want to republish those that have already been published. In this case, I do not want to. I'll just uncheck that. And I know that this is a post type is post, not a page. So I'll choose that. And here I will tell it to select the post that only occurred after a specific date. Uh, we can do the last month, let's see, after uh, maybe the 23rd, if we want to do that. Or we can actually go between two dates. So if I want it between August and August 1st and August 31st, we could do that. Or we could also choose any posts done earlier than August 21st. So if you have a really old blog that maybe you started in 2010, let's say, it will actually take all the posts from 2010 all the way to August 1st here because that's what we set it at. But right now, I just want any posts that is after August 23rd. That gives it roughly about a month. And then I'll tell it when to start scheduling. I'll choose a now time and then I'll put maybe a couple hours from now. And I'm going to click done. Next step here is ask you how often you want to repeat it. And this is in minutes. So just be careful here. 
And if you want it to be in days, you have to convert the minutes into a day, how many minutes they are. But right now, let's just say I want it to be every 60 minutes. And then I can select where I want to publish these two. I can choose Facebook only, uh, Twitter only, LinkedIn only, or all three at one time. I'm going to go ahead and publish the schedule. It's not going to publish yet because my date and time that I've selected is actually a couple of hours later. And now we'll just let it do its job. So while we're waiting on it to kickstart the schedule, let's start a new schedule. And let's say we have a post that we will only publish a week from now. So I'm going to put the specific post name and I'm going to go ahead and enable it. And I want a specific source. So let's say this particular uh, post that's going to happen. Let's see, let's go to the post and get the ID and click on it. That's probably the easiest way. When you click on it, you'll see the post number up here in your URL. So I'm going to grab that. So I'm going to come back here and enter that post ID. That means it will only publish that particular ID or re share that particular post. And I want to share it. What did I say? A week from now. So this is now and I want a week from now. Let's put it on Monday and we can also select a time if we choose to and done. And naturally this is only one post. I really do not want it to be uh, repeatable. So there's no point to repeat this and I want to share it to all these networks and I'm going to click publish again. What happens now is we'll just sit back and let the plugin do its job. All right. So after time has passed and the plugin will kick in, let's go take a look at our social networks. I have got one Moogle here and it just posted this a minute ago. And if I go to my Facebook page, this has also posted a minute ago and it's showing as published by my app, uh, not by me. And then you will have it in uh, LinkedIn as posted also. You can also check if the posts went through properly by going back to Encore Schedules and click on the schedule that you want to look at, in this case, last month's posts. And at the bottom here, it will show you a log of where and what has successfully posted at what time, what social networks and whether it was uh, successful or not. And that's it. Very useful. This plugin can also pick up custom post types and it can also schedule posts to your groups, which is a super time saving feature right there. I hope you enjoy it and grab a copy for yourself.